In this video, I'm going to show you the steps necessary to install the new Realtek Wi-Fi driver if you've updated your kernel to 4.19 or newer. Now, earlier today, when I say today, it's very early in the morning. It was actually yesterday. I did update my computer and it did get a kernel update. It actually took a big jump. It went from 4.18 to version 5.0. And so when I tried to install my driver by the method that I showed uh, on the internet before through my website and in a YouTube video down here at the bottom, this no longer works with the new kernel. And uh, you don't have to fret uh, and look all across the internet. If this kernel worked before to get you online, then more likely the kernel that I'm going to show you will work for 4.19 and newer uh, kernels. So here I developed a web page today and actually I did this on my desktop here and I realized when I was updating my uh, laptop here that I didn't have enough screenshots for my desktop so I went ahead and installed uh, and took enough screenshots to where I completed the web page and I thought well I don't have any more computers to install this on and I'm not going to try to uninstall it to reinstall it so I thought well I do have the steps here so in this video I'm going to show you the steps which will be a lot faster than me showing you how to download the file and to show you how to install watching the installation process I do have pictures of each step to start with you want to first make sure that you are running a Realtek semiconductor device so what you do is you open up your terminal and you put this into your terminal and you press the enter key now as you can see here and I do have that screenshot here uh, I do have the Realtek semiconductor now the reason it shows uh, two if you click up here on my Wi-Fi you can see that I got the Netgear 69 and I also have another uh, Netgear uh, which is the N so it does show up twice uh, for that now if to download the driver you can either click here here or here now if you click on the drop box after it takes a few moment and loads you'll see a drop box download button up here in the right hand corner and I apologize for it being slow here it is you click the download button in the upper right hand corner now if you click on to the, the the Google Drive after it loads you will have the download button here so either method will work if you're downloading it from Google Drive you can click here or if you're downloading it from the Dropbox you can click here so that's how you download the driver and I recommend you to download that driver the name of that that file there into your uh, downloads folder and I uh, reference that later uh, to the downloads folder now once you've downloaded it locate that file here so it's the rtl 8812 au-master.zip it's a zip file it's compressed so once you in that folder right click that file to bring up a pop-up menu when you do click on the option or the command extract here that will start extracting or uncompressing the files that are in that zip file and it will create a folder in your downloads folder and put the files that's in that zip file into that folder when it's finished you'll notice a new folder in your downloads folder the name of the folder will be rtl 8812 au-master double click that folder to open it to look at the contents on the inside of it Now you're going to see several files and some more folders but what I want you to focus on is there is a file called install.sh that means it's a script file so what I want you to do is to click on it and then right click on it and when that little pop-up menu appears click on properties at the bottom this will bring you up an uh, install.sh properties dialog box and that's the name of the file when it does click on the third tab which is your permissions tab look down on next to execute and make sure there's a check in this box which allows executing the file as a program then click the close button go back to that install.sh file right click it again this time click on run as an administrator when you do uh, for to have administrative purpose or uh, to have administrative rights you'll have to enter your password when the authenticate dialog box appears once you put in your password then click the authenticate button now this is where it's going to start installing the program 
And this will take several minutes, so be patient. You can go fix yourself a cup of tea or a cup of coffee or a soda. Then when you come back, hopefully it will be finished. And if it is finished, at the bottom it will say success. And it will say module will be activated automatically at the next reboot. At this point in time, you can reboot your system. Or you can say, do you wish to activate the module now? I chose Y. You can type the Y and then press the enter or return key. You will notice across at the top that your Wi-Fi will start uh, establishing a connection and it should connect. If for some reason it don't connect I recommend to reboot the system. Now if it does connect you can get rid of the yellow or the red exclamation point on the shield by refreshing your canonical life patch. Now, because the reason why it's red is when you updated your system more than likely after it updated the kernel you may have rebooted and if you did this tried to look for a refresh across the internet and it couldn't get online because the driver or the new driver was not installed so you just simply open up your terminal copy this just simply highlight this right click copy paste it into your terminal and press the enter key what this will do is it will update your canonical live package it will refresh it and then you'll see that the, the sh red exclamation point on the shield will turn green as you see in the upper right hand corner. Now when that happens, uh, if you've not rebooted your system before you open your browser, I do recommend you to reboot your system. You don't have to, uh, but for me I noticed that see right here when I didn't it had four bars and after I rebooted it gave me a total of uh, the five bars that you see here one two three four I'm sorry it gave me three bars and then after I rebooted I had the full strength so if you don't get the full strength I do recommend you to reboot your system and then you should be able to use your computer as you normally did now that was all it is to it is installing the driver now I recommend you to uh, if you're on a computer and don't have access to the internet I recommend you to download this file here and place it on a thumb drive and take it to your system uh, that don't have access to the internet and then hopefully you can look on your phone and follow these steps here they're not that complicated you know I have illustrated steps here and eventually I may create these steps here in a text file just as I did on this one uh, where I created a little text file, download the instructions. I may come back up here sometime tomorrow and put in instructions where you can download those and follow the instructions. If you've copied this from a thumb drive and taken it to your system where it doesn't have access to the internet. Hopefully after you follow these instructions, you'll get uh, full access or full bars to allow you to get on the internet. Hopefully this video has helped you get back online if you were not able to get online by installing the new updated Realtek Wi-Fi driver. And have a great day.